I'm slowly getting a jump on blackbeard algae in this tank with these guys. But there's that piece of it's lava. There's one there. I think this one in front too. Get some focus on that. There we go. Uh, and, and that one's covered back there. So I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to show you what I do with it. Uh, and there's a leaf on this uh, red sword that looks like it's being impacted. One way to get deal with that is just to get rid of the leaf. So, and it turns out it wasn't. It was just the way... Uh, the light was hitting it, so my bad. Uh, but, so anyway, the way I prune those anyway, when I need to, is uh, thumb and forefinger, fingernails. But yeah, this rock is pretty well covered with it. So here's what I do. Let's get that one in there. And see if we... And that other one, I'm gonna go for that too. Just, just cause, yep. Oops, rats, bombs away. There it is. Okay, and here's how I handle it. Into the sink. Laundry room. Under the laundry room sink. And I'm sure this is gonna fly in the face of a few people, but you know what? There we go. This stuff. And the cap on this is broken, so. In there. I'll see if I can get some squirts out of it. Nope, not too many. So we'll just take that cap off and pinch it. And we'll put a little of that in there. And we'll throw some warm water in on top. A lot of times I don't bother with the warm water. I just uh, use uh, this kitchen cleanup stuff that, you know, all by itself. It's a, it's a dilute bleach solution. And, uh, and then after it sits for, oh, those rocks, I can forget about them. It won't hurt anything. Uh, It'll, I'll let, I'll let them sit for, yeah, if I, if I think of it later today, great. And if I don't, I'll catch it tomorrow. Um, and then I'll rinse it clean and they'll be fine. Uh, Groot here, his little air stone a couple days ago was absolutely covered with blackbird algae. Um, so I brought it into the sink, unplugged them, brought it in the sink and sprayed it and let it, let it sit overnight, rinsed it clean. And there it is, nice and clean. And here are these guys, no problem. So after you rinse it clean, uh, any of the bleach is just gonna gas off if there's any left after a clean rinse. So I, I don't really worry about that. But that stuff works really well. In the past, I, I had uh, this tank and I had a really bad uh, uh, algae problem in here. And I took all the rocks out except for that really big chunk of lava because it's way too heavy. And I put them all in a bucket of water, filled it up and put about a quarter of a cup uh, of just regular household bleach in that uh, uh, five gallon bucket and then let it sit for a couple days and poured it off. Uh, actually, I just started pulling the rocks out one at a time and rinsing them off and then poured the rest out because uh, I didn't want to pour that down the street or anything like that. Uh, and, and put them back in and everything's fine. I got algae again, but not like it was. So that works. Household bleach. It's a uh, it works as a great algicide, it's a fungicide, uh, it's a bactericide, uh, and you don't want to pour it in the tank, obviously, but you know, you can clean stuff outside the tank, rinse it off, and uh, um, and then reuse it, it's no, no problem. This uh, breeder box was covered with algae inside uh, and out, because it had been sitting here for a couple months. Uh, and I didn't have this cover on it. Took a piece of that plastic and I kind of fogged it a little bit with some flat black to reduce the light going in here and into this uh, breeder box. And I used that same spray all the way around it and it went from green 
it uh, white, pretty much. There's a few stains on it. There's some more coming back down there at the water line, but it works. So I know how the saying is, contempt prior to investigation, but I would say give it a shot if you're curious. Uh, and you know, I promise you, as long as you rinse it clean when you're done, it won't hurt anything. The one thing you want to do though, is uh, what I did on this, cause this is uh, uh, 3D printed. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to hurt the plastic because uh, really hot water, I guess, will screw these up. It'll, it'll cause them to deform. So they tell you don't put anything, you know, like that in the dishwasher. But uh, I tried it on a small spot on the outside of the box and let it sit for 10, 15 minutes and hosed off the algae, left a nice white clean spot and the plastic felt fine. So that's what prompted me to go ahead and use it on the entire thing. So something to think about. Just one more hack for your hobby. Thanks for watching.